Hey, musical theater people. How are you? I felt like, um, you know, dressing up, pretending I'm going somewhere today. So I wore my um, sparkly black beret and I put a little boa scarf on today uh, so I could feel fancy. I hope you're feeling fancy at your house, too, although I know we're all in our pajamas, which is totally fine. All right. Today, I, I didn't know what video uh, theme, the theme of the video was going to be today, but when I woke up this morning and watched uh, quite a number of video clips from CNN and other reliable sources for information regarding the coronavirus and the government, I, I'm, I'm using my anger right now to make this video uh, because... Yeah, I I don't even know I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, we really have to think about we I, yeah we just have to think about how we can keep giving good vibes and good energy out there to Dr. Fauci and all of the rest of the people who really know what they're doing, and hope that other people are going to step aside a bit. And not worry about um, the economy so much and not worry about the stock market and not worry about reelection. But let's deal with or, or in also blaming, you know, the Democrats and Obama for this mess. What? Let, let's not worry about that. Let's deal with the, the problem at hand. So at any rate, I was compelled to do something about our country today. So usually I don't really like this whole patriotic red, white, and blue theme kind of thing. But I thought today this would be a good a, a good theme for us. So this is just a list of 15 songs that are from shows that are set in the United States, about coming to the United States, settling, emigrating into the United States, um, living in New York, living in different states, about different wars that we've had, whatever. And male or female, I will tell you um, how they were traditionally presented in the musicals, but this is obviously anyone can work on these. Okay, here we go. Number one, Wheels of a Dream from Ragtime. If you don't know that show, it's beautiful, traditionally sung by a female. Rags from the musical Rags. Uh, sung by a female. I was, I was so privileged to play the lead, to play Rebecca in Rags at Blackfriars Theater about 15 or 16 years ago. Such a beautiful show. The Old Red Hills of Home from Parade, that is, um, traditionally sung by a male. At the Glen from Dessa Rose, this is an advanced soprano. I would say soprano. You can sing it in your mix, but this is not a belt song. And this, there's, there's a lot of, this is the singing actor. So you've got your technique and the singing actor aspects of presenting a song. So that is an advanced song for women, uh, at, uh, at the Glen from Dessa Rose. Tell my father from Civil War. Beautiful lyrics, a very easy melody. So this was is traditionally sung by a male. And um, while he's dying, he is telling the nurse that he's with, please tell my father that I was brave. Very easy melody, though, so good for a beginning singer. Days of Plenty from Little Women, traditionally sung by a female. This is sung by Marmy, the mother. So this is best suited to a mature uh, a mature woman. Um, give my regards to Broadway from Little Johnny Jones, traditionally sung by a male. New York, New York from On the Town. This is a trio of of men, three men, three is a trio. Kara, come on, um, who who do this song? If you have never seen the movie musical version of On the Town, this is the time to put that on your list. We've got lots of time to see all of those movie musicals. Um, Oklahoma, the title song from Oklahoma. It is an ensemble song, but traditionally sung by a male. Curly sings it as well. Uh, Summertime from Porgy and Bess, traditionally sung by a female. A difficult, difficult 
piece to do technically. Lots of support is needed for, for that. Can't help loving that man from Showboat. Uh, and that is traditionally sung by a female as well. Here is a goofy, crazy song from the musical Grey Gardens. If you don't know Grey Gardens, Google it. Um, it's just a, a really bizarre story. Uh, not in the bizarre, like, horror movie kind of way, but just, yeah, bizarre because of the characters and based on a true story. Um, so this is called The Revolutionary Costume for Today, uh, sung by a female. And that is presented by a girl who is not, uh, does not have problems with self-confidence. This is a, you gotta get out there and do this song and be ready to feel like a fool and be ready to commit yourself to uh, developing this character. But it's just, it's bizarre and it's funny, funny. Good Morning Baltimore from um, Hairspray. I think that's on another list of mine as well. Traditionally sung by a female, obviously about Baltimore. But beyond, beyond uh, uh, about just one city, this show is about... Um, about the, the black experience versus the white experience in our, in our country, segregation, um, racism, that kind of thing. Great music. He plays the violin from 1776, traditionally sung by a female. This is a soprano song. It's a slow, yeah, it's a waltz. It's a slow waltz. Um, and it, yeah, you've got to be tasteful with how the way you present this because honestly, the melody itself does not stand on its own. You've really got to do something with the storytelling. Um, and a song called The Secret Service from the musical Mr. President. Uh, this needs to be sung by a teen because it's about being the president's daughter and trying to have a life, but the Secret Service is always around, so you can't kiss the guy, all of that, okay? And there are certainly many, many, many others. This is just a list to get you going, to get you started on, wow, how, how many, you can ask yourself, how many songs have I done already that are set in the United States? Or how many songs have I done that are set in Europe? You know, Les Mis, France, you know, whatever. Um, and that, that gives us an opportunity to think about what's already in our book and what's appropriate for recitals, for competitions, for auditions, that kind of thing. All right. I hope that you are taking care of yourself and that you are taking care of and loving one another. And Annabelle and I are here and we're just watching films and uh, doing a little bit of writing and I just finished the um, Handmaidens um, series uh, which I thought was fantastic and uh, yeah so take care of each other and I will probably be back tomorrow with another video all right keep singing <laughs>